Hello everyone, my name is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. Most of the folks know how to re restrict access at data row level. But what about column level? Surprisingly, a lot of people don't know about it. But the good part is that it is as easy as, as row level security. You know that there is no reason that you will not be able to understand this easily. But even if you don't know row level security as well, even if you will be able to understand this, that's for sure. But then first of all, let me tell you that in this channel, you will get equivalent features of uh, Tableau and Power BI. In the last week, you were talking about column level security of Power BI. This video will talk about column level security of Tableau and the complementary videos will always be present at a description or, or the description a description and the comment section below. I have one more channel in which we talk about uh, BI projects. That channel link will be there in the description and comment section as well. Okay, now let's move on. Now, first of all, you need to know that what is the difference between row level security and column level security. So when you say row level security, for example, the North region manager should be able to see data for the North region states only. And the South regional manager should be able to see the rows for the South region. So in this case, they will see all the columns. There is no restriction on the columns, but the rows. So that's why row level security here. Whereas column level security will restrict the column. So for example, this is a hospital related dashboard. And you already know that there are, there are a lot of sensitive information when it comes to hospital dashboard. So the scenario is that the overall satisfaction rating should not be seen by all but few because this is sensitive information this talks about the overall satisfaction of you you would not like to show this to everyone at the same time you are okay to show some of hospital beds over there that should be open to all so in this method we can go either by username or is member of so i will give you the demo by using username instead and the same formula can be applied to is member of as well the only difference will be when you are making use of is member of you are talking about a group whether that person is member of that group or not. Their username is a username who is who has logged into this Tableau server. The formula will remain the same. So first of all, let, let us create that calculation. So I will go create calculate field. So I hope you know what is username. So if you have forgotten, I will just show you what is username. So I'll just put calculation one to label so that you can see that what is the username is my username biz.ritesh at gmail.com so for you it will be your name at the rate of your company.com so forth and so on so in this case the scenario will be that i should be able to see the overall satisfaction rate and no but no one else so i'm going to restrict the column itself right i'm going to restrict the column it's not about rows it's all it's all about the column the whole column will go off for the other folks. But then how? For that, we'll have to go back to calculation, add it in, And I say if username is equal to this dot ritish at gmail.com. Oops, it's case sensitive, writing again. So if it's me, then what will happen? Simple. Then I should be able to see the overall satisfaction uh, score and I would say end and I would say this as I could say this that is faction underscore score so security okay so I'll have this one instead and I'll say apply so right now if you see the color right the overall satisfaction is defining the color and also if you just hover over there it also shows the value right overall satisfaction is scored over there but i should be the one who should you know should be able to see this one so i will put this off and bring my new security this one and is this Is it all really continuous? Okay. It should be a measure by the way. Convert to measure. Okay. Yeah. And now I will bring that to color. It will be continuous. Now if you see. Means I, I can see that. Now you will say that okay, is it working? Because earlier also it was like that only. So now we are going to modify the formula just for the sake of testing. So right now it says that if you are Ritesh based. If this is your email ID, then you should be able to see this one. So let, let us try to modify this one. And we say that, and let me just 
enlarge this one a bit so that you can see it and i say that okay not equal to restarted page so in that case now it says now it means that anyone apart from ritesh best should be able to see that ritesh is the culprit he should not be able to see that right so everyone else will see the the satisfaction score but i will not be able to see that with this formula so it, it's good for testing as well and i say apply and here you go everything is null over there if i just hover that i don't see anything with the old satisfaction because according to the formula i should i am the culprit i should not be able to see that one and that's what it is so simple right and you were thinking that it is tough uh, the only last advice is hide the column so that uh, you make use of this calculation instead and restrict other people other folks to even touch that any particular column they should not be even able to see that one so i hope this session was informative if you have any session in your mind in any topic in your mind you can just put at the comment section you can watch my web website dancingwithdata.com for insightful videos on the bi and analytics side so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko samajh aata hai bye